been three years since I applied for this and uh, I, I was actually calling the state every three months wondering where it stood and I got all kinds of uh, stories about the historian that has to approve the sign uh, had, was on a leave of absence and then when Benson actually came in uh, to power he actually eliminated the position of state historian and you can't get one of these made unless the state historian verifies all of the factual information that you say are facts. <laughs> so anyway, when Lynch, uh, John Lynch was elected, he, um, he brought that uh, position of state historian back, and that's what started the program rolling again. But in the meantime, there was a heck of a backlog. <laughs> and that's what I was being told for most of those three years, every couple of months. Uh, and then I contacted Doreen and Dennis and, and Marsha, and uh, next thing I know, <laughs> well, the first, they told me I was going to have it in next year, in 2008. And I'm thinking, okay, I have enough time to, to do what I need to do to get ready for it and put a, you know, dedication ceremony together. And it wasn't, uh, I don't know, two months ago, they said, oh, no, you're going to get it in a, you know, in a couple of months. I said, holy smokes, I don't have time to do that. So, uh, well, so you did a lot of work. A lot of research, yeah. and I think the town uh, definitely owes you a, a debt of gratitude. Not to mention what one of our former citizens, what he did in his life, and how it benefited the town of Newmarket. Absolutely, and I applaud you as a councillor and as a citizen. And I do want to thank both of our state reps for what you've done and the, the role you have played in this. So I congratulate you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. And I think that it's noteworthy that. Through your efforts, we've gone back in history to a time, colonial times, to someone who was a historian, who was buried here in Newmarket, and essentially lost to history. He was. He was lost to history. And he's been resurrected in one sense. And it is also noteworthy that a person of color played such a prominent part in the history of Newmarket. None, none of us, like myself, that grew up here, would have ever thought that. We wouldn't have thought it for many reasons. But I think that it shows the humanity and how we are all part of this great country. And, and I do thank you, Richard. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. Thank you. you know, I, I think it's important, when I moved back nine years ago, to see such an active historical society, because um, without your work, this would have, this would have been lost. Thank you, too, and I'm glad that I played a small part in it, but you deserve all the credit today. Thank you, Doreen. Anybody else? I'd like to say thank you. Thank you, we want to be descendants, right? Carol Brown, yep. Wentworth Cheswell descendant. Yeah, eighth generation. <laughs> <laughs> Carol actually had a tree fall on him while we were removing trees in the graveyard here a year ago. Back still hurts. <laughs> uh, I can imagine. That was two years ago. Two years ago. And did you uh, cut I wasn't tree? cutting it, no. Are you sure? No. Was, who was cutting it that day? Or, uh, or Jamie, cut? my nephew. Mm -hmm. but he, and I were it, he and I were pulling it down with the rope, and he was in front of me, and then we, as it was coming down at us, he ran away. I ran one way, <laughs> he ran the other way, and I got the tree landed on him in the video. Oh my, I don't know what that's worth on TV. <laughs> <laughs> my special moment. <laughs> Lee, what organization do you have? I'm uh, the chair of the New Hampshire Circle of Friends. We're a multi multicultural organization and uh, we're trying to find all the African Americans we can so that we can uh, bring them to life and let people see that we've been here forever and we've always been contributing in significant ways and produce some positive role models for the youth, for the entire community, actually. Was this surprising to you to find someone in a small community? Like no, this? no, not really, because uh, yeah. I know that so they're, they're, they're all around. A better understanding. Yeah. Of, of well, I'm originally from Mississippi, and uh, I grew up just like a lot of you guys, 
never knew that black people did anything. <laughs> then by the time, after I went off to college and came back and started to dig into this stuff, I found that black people had done all kinds of stuff. They've been sheriffs, they've been uh, uh, town clerks, they've done all kinds of stuff. Even in Mississippi? Yes. Yeah. See, uh, people don't know it, but uh, in, in history, in the same period that we're talking about here, uh, Mississippi was known to have some of the best administration of all of the colonies. Well, because they were all from Boston. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you need to sign this gentleman up for one of your monthly talks. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'd yeah. love to do it. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to have you. <laughs>